Welcome to this session on creating a new consigner record. In the program, click on File, then Program Setup. Click on the Consigner tab. To avoid having to enter the city and state for each new consigner record, enter the most common city and state for your consigners. This can be changed on each record as needed. If you buy items per resale and are required to record information about items and sellers, check Enable Police Reporting. Doing so will add more identification fields to the new consigner record. For this tutorial, leave the box unchecked. For resale, please refer to the video on creating a seller record. Click Save and Exit. Press F2 to open a new consigner record or click on consigner slash seller. Numbers can be used for the consigner ID, but using part of the last name suggests who the owner of the item is when viewing a price label, and it makes a sorted list of consigners and items in reports more useful. For easy sorting of names, use the same format for each name entered. Enter the last name first and the first name last, with a space in between. Do not use punctuation. Complete as much additional information on this screen as desired. Only the ID and name are required to complete a record. More information can be entered later. It might be helpful to always enter the home phone number as phone 1 and the cell phone number as phone 2, especially in shops where multiple people are using the software. Birth date can be entered to remember birthdays. User date can be set to remind to contact this person on the date set. Requested space refers to a booth the consigner or vendor is waiting to rent, which is a feature of BCSS Diamond or Virtual. User text can be any string of letters and numbers to give the consigner a unique flag or label. In reports, flags can be used to produce reports which only include consigners with the given flag. The default consigner percentage is auto-entered from the value set in program setup. Change here if necessary and make sure to use decimal format. 1 equals 100%. Unsold items can be returned, donated, destroyed, or transferred to shop ownership. Select the option applicable to the consigner. It's unusual to have a starting balance, but if there is one, enter it here. The virtual edition of BCSS allows consigners to view the account information and enter inventory items online. Check Allow Online Access if applicable. The internal ID is a number assigned by the program to the consigner. That number and the password are given to the consigner for online access. Removing the check from This Consigner is Active flags the record as inactive. In Program Setup on the Consigner tab, not shown here, Remove the check from Include Inactives in Work Area List to not show inactive records in lists and reports. Notes can be entered for shop eyes only. Mailbox is for notes that are to be shared with the consigner. Press Save and Continue, or F2, to save this record and start another. Click OK to save this record and close the window. Select Exit to close the record without saving entered or changed entries. Click Print Consigner Agreement to print an agreement auto-filled with shop and consigner contact information, date, number of items consigned, and provision for signatures. Press Save and Enter Consignments to save the record and open an Inventory Batch Enter screen. 
Most of the information on this screen can be exported in spreadsheet format and used in other programs like Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Please call 888-427-5779 and select option 1 for help.